Yo guys, how's it going? Cobra1386 here, and welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars review. Now it's been a while, I hope you guys all had a really nice Christmas and a good new year. Um, so we're going to get right on and do this video, but before I do I'd just like to say I apologise that I didn't finish off the LEGO Star Wars Advent Calendar series. I just got so ridiculously busy coming up to Christmas, I didn't have time to finish it off at all. But if you guys would like to see like the complete advent calendar with everything on it, or like a showcase video of that, let me know in the comments below and I'll put one up if you guys ask for it. If not, then it's fine. I'm not all that worried. But um, yeah, so let's get right on with this video. So this is going to be a review of set 75133, the Rebel Alliance Battle Pack, based on the game Star Wars Battlefront. Now can I just say, virtually everything about this set is amazingly accurate. I mean, you can tell that LEGO have put a lot of effort into this set, and this is from someone who plays the game a lot. I mean, I, I got it, I think it was about two or three days after Christmas. And I've virtually played it every day since then. So it is, you know, a great game and this set is very accurate to that. So with that said, this set currently retails in the UK for £11.99. So yeah, let's get right on and have a look at the minifigures we get in this set. So here is the first of the Rebel Troopers we get. This is a great figure, the torso printing is awesome, it's very accurate to one of the torsos which the Rebel Troopers have in the set. The helmet is great, I believe we have had this helmet before in B-Wing sets, but this is a brand new print for the helmet itself. And then if we turn the figure around, here you can see that he has a brand new moulded piece for a jump pack which is amazing they are as far as lego goes highly representative of the ones you see in the game they're very accurate and it is a great new piece and it just shows how much effort lego have put into these new star wars sets in order to make a brand new mold for this i mean they could have quite easily you know just used the previous clone jump packs they've had in the past and the ones they used for boba fett or had like a brick built one but they decided to do this which was a great choice it looks amazing and uh, yeah let's move on to the other minifigures now here you can see the two species we get in this set you have the duo which is the one on the right here Cad Bane from the Clone Wars is one of them if you can remember that and then we also have the Rodian a head we have had before we've had both of them before but I believe the Rodian head has slightly new printing and if you've seen the films, you'll recognise this as the species that Greedo is in A New Hope. Now, the torso of the right-hand side figure is different to the left-hand side. I thought I'd show these two side by side because you can see that the leg printing is identical. And the way that Lego have made the two torsos fit perfectly onto the same leg printing, I think it's done really well. And I thought I'd show you the two torsos side by side so you can see what they'd look like together. And now if we just turn the figures around here. You can see that the Rodian on the left, you can now see the back of that torso because the other figure I showed had the jetpack on, you couldn't see it. And the one on the right here also has the jetpack. Two of the figures in this set have the jump packs. And uh, yeah, let's go along and have a look at the final figure of this set and then we will go have a look at the speeder and here we have the fourth figure of the set and you can see he has the same torso printing as the duo species did the leg printing on this figure is different to the other two figures I just showed but it does have the same printing on it as this figure here the first one which I showed you and I've myself I've only just realized that those legs are different and it's very subtle 
tone difference in the um, tan colour. But they are different so you can mix and match the torsos and the legs as you would like to. And the helmet we have got before in Hoth Troopers. Um, we saw it on the Hoth Trooper we opened in the Advent Calendar set. But this time we have it in Dark Tan. Which as far as I'm aware is a brand new colour for this headpiece. And the only thing I have against this figure is quite a minor thing depending on how much you kind of worry about this, but the fact that they've used a clone head on a rebel figure, I think it's just, <laughs> you know, why why would you do that when you have loads of different rebel faces you've used in the past that have worked really well, and then you go and use a clone head. But, yeah. If I turn it around here, you can see the back of that torso, and again, this other torso you couldn't see the back of because the duo species figure had the backpack on with this torso. So you can see the continuation of the strap design on the back and he has the hood on the back which is great. I love all the figures in this set. And uh, let's move on and have a look at the speeder itself. So here we have the speeder itself. Now this is actually a really fun build to do and um, it's got some really good playability features with it like it's got the stud shooter on the side here which is uh, you know it fits in really seamlessly with the design even if they haven't got one on the other side but it's still you know it fits well with the design of the vehicle you see you have the two control sticks up here and the printed control panel piece here which again fits in really well you see that our space for two minifigures in the back here which I'll show in just a second and then you have the stud shooter turret on the back here like so now the only thing only thing I have against this vehicle is that this doesn't actually exist in the game like we have in the game we have these speeders you know like the classic speeders that we've had in Lego sets before and honestly I think if they just taken one of these speeders and say used this new front design here kind of from here forwards on it or even just left them as they are like this this still would have been a brilliant set because you know, it's only if you're you know really worried about the accuracy of the set and you can do that you can adapt the front of this speeder to fit onto the classic design but it's really quite a minor thing with the sex. It is still great fun. It's a great build. I'm not, you know, putting down the build at all. It is a great speeder design. It's just, you know, it's not in the game. But again, it's not a big thing. So here I will show you two minifigures on the speeder. And then we are going to wrap up this video. So here we have the two figures on the speeder. Now on the box here you can see it shows the Rodian driving and the Rebel Trooper on the back but I personally prefer it this way round because this trooper you can put the goggles over and it just kind of makes more sense with him having the eye protection being the one going forwards and then you can see on the back here the Rodian on the mounted gun. So now we're going to have a look at the instructions, the box and we'll wrap up this video. So here you can see the instruction booklet does have the same uh, kind of action shot on the front of it as the box does and you can see the piece count on the back page here and then if we turn to the last page of the build you can see it is a 26 page build and it does come with the spare stud shooters like so here you can see the artwork on the front of the box we have the Force Awakens banner across the top here now I think it would have been nice if they added like say a stormtrooper at the top as opposed to Kylo Ren to fit into the Star Wars Battlefront theme. But it is still, you know, it fits with the rest of the wave so I can understand why they didn't do that. And then here you can see the Disney logo in the bottom corner. And then the kind of, you know, age rating name and seal number of the set. You can see the Rebel Trooper scale on the top of the box here. And then on the back... We have a 
second action shot of the set, the blueprints up here, all the kind of accessories you get with it, the three standard blasters and the kind of longer blaster, the jetpacks, all the spare stud shooters and the playability features which I went through in the video. So there we have it, set 75133, the Rebel Alliance Battle Pack from the January 2016 LEGO sets. Now again, this is a very accurate set to the games, minus the fact that the speeder is two man rather than one man. But again, that is a very minor you know, detail as far as the set itself goes. So yeah, I would highly recommend this set. It is a cheap set and it comes with some really great minifigures. And unlike the two um, Force Awakens battle packs, all the figures in this set are troopers. So you can use this to bulk up a rebel army quite easily. And yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like. It helps me out a lot and lets me know that you do like these videos. And uh, if you are new to my channel, subscribe for more LEGO videos just like this one. And this has been Code 136, and I'll see you next time.